Uh, greetings, everyone. I am Ngabucho Nicholas Mapena. We once discussed the issue of children born in South Africa to migrants. And we said that uh, if a child uh, <coughs> is a minor, you apply for the child's birth certificate at the consulate of your country of origin. When the child turns 16 or 17, they then apply for a citizenship. That is South African citizenship. And we did explain that a, a child, when is minor, they adopt the citizenship of their parents. But uh, when they are now above 17, they decide whether they want to be citizens of the country where their parents were born or they want to be citizens by birth of a country where they were born. <clears throat> and uh, we said because of lockdown, uh, this section in the department was not uh, receiving applicants for such children. And uh, we know that uh, a lot of parents are having difficulties in registering their children, whether in universities and colleges, their children are unable to uh, apply for jobs, they are unable to get driver's licenses because uh, they are undocumented, but they are born in South Africa, they do not have IDs. Uh, there are comrades that have been going to the Department of Home Affairs to apply and the applications have been accepted for their children. We have not been able ourselves to verify. <coughs> So this information is based on comrades that have gone themselves to apply for their children and the applications have been accepted. So if you are in this category, what you need to do as we discussed previously, you need to get the birth card of your child uh, and the birth record which you acquire at the clinic or hospital where the child was born or where the mother delivered the child and that the hospital should be having the birth record. Once you have the birth record, you need uh, to do an affidavit, whether through Commissioner of Oaths, whether through the police, uh, to indicate that indeed the child is yours. You also need to be legal in the country, as we said, that, uh, that uh, you must be legal in the country. Uh, that is to say, you must have a valid uh, a permit in South Africa. In this case, Walters of ZEP uh, are legal in the country until the 30th of June, 2023. So these are the documents, some of the documents that are required that uh, you need to submit at the Department of Home Affairs. Uh, at the Department of Home Affairs, because the child is the main applicant, it is the child that completes the application form. Uh, then there is a section, the form that I saw when we went to the Department of Home Affairs, we had gone to Harrison to assist others to, to apply at the time uh, this section is uh, I'm referring to was closed. But the form that uh, we were given, the child is the main applicant, then there's a section where the father completes uh, and also where the mother completes. Uh, they will then ask if the child had acquired any other citizenship. Uh, in this case, if say the child is of Zimbabwean origin or is born to Zimbabwean parents, and they have the uh, Zimbabwean birth certificate that indicate that uh, the child was born in South Africa. You have to indicate that they had acquired the Zimbabwean citizenship. In the case of Zimbabwe, because uh, the 2013 Zimbabwean constitution allows for a dual citizenship, the child will not be required to renounce their Zimbabwean citizenship. So you can still retain that, you don't have to renounce that citizenship, but you apply for 
a South African citizenship without going back to Zimbabwe to renounce. Those that come to, from Zimbabwe are familiar with the issue of renouncing one citizenship. You remember in 2000, uh, those that are of Malawian origin or Malawian, Zambian, Mozambican origin were excluded in the citizenship in Zimbabwe, uh, even though they were born in Zimbabwe because at the time they were told to go and uh, renounce their foreign citizenship, even though they were not born there. So in this case, you do not have to renounce uh, the citizenship. So as I said, that uh, we were not able to verify with the Department of Home Affairs. This information is solely based on those that have gone to apply, particularly at Randberg, a home affairs, their applications were accepted. So this is why we are saying visit your nearest home affairs department and they submit your application. So the people that gave us this information, they submitted and ran back home affairs and the applications were submitted. They are currently waiting for the outcome of that application. Uh, if you have any questions or you need uh, clarity on some issues, please do not hesitate to write in the comment section. Otherwise, circulate. Please kindly circulate this video and uh, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. Otherwise, have a fabulous weekend. Goodbye.